What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be talking about how to get five free Dark Matters today in NBA 2K22, my 20, Jesus, 24, my team. I'm losing track of years. I was about to say, oh, same thing every year, it's really not, and obviously, as you guys can see, I'm really, really, I don't even have the Bill Walton locker code typed in in this account yet, that's how, uh, that's how far back I have been. That is how far back, so obviously, if you guys are, uh, I need to find, I need to find this right now. I need to find what the Bill Walton locker code is. Because I have not typed that in yet. So the Bill Walton code, for those of you guys that do not have it, is, um, obviously you guys almost certainly do have it. But it is like, my team dash DM dash Bill dash Walton dash 32. So at least, if you guys have not, we're going full on another specific YouTuber that will repeat the same locker codes all over again if they're still active. But yes, you can get six. You can technically get six. It's not going to be the title of this video, but you can technically get six. So obviously, if you guys have not got this. And there's going to be a new locker code for the NBA Finals, which I think is going to be a really good card. And like, you can't deny that 2K have done a good job when it comes to locker codes this year in general. They have they really have um, done a much better job with that compared to other years. So yeah, we obviously got him. But let's take a look. First of all, I'm going to look at the agendas and then see what you can com what you can combine. So we got Spark 3. I didn't do any of Spark 1, to be fair. So for Spark 3, score 21 points with a Celtics player 15 times. Oh my god. That is the easiest way to get Reggie Lewis ever. So like, if you have a Peyton Pritchard, a Derek White, who you can get so easily from these free challenges, I hope that the skill challenges didn't go anywhere. Or the spotlight challenge. I don't think they went anywhere for the playoffs. Yeah, so playoff round 2 recap. Is the playoff conference finals recap just not in the game? I'm going to quit out and back in, but... Them not being in the game would be the most my team thing ever. That would be genuinely the most my team thing ever. But at the same time, they are going to be challenges, which is not too bad. Like, for the, for the rebounds, you literally just flop. You sit in a 2-3 zone, you flop and grab rebounds at your center. If you have any tall players, you're good for that. Um, They're all going to be completely fine for doing stuff like that, so... Um, it's not the end of the world with that one. But let's see you have these challenges being put in the game. They have not been put in the game. Now that's annoying. That is annoying for me because I only have a little bit of time to go over these. So, you have got uh, the Spark 3 set. This is really, really easy. You get 100 rebounders with centers. Rebound centers. That is awful. It's not hard, but it's just annoying. 19 assists and 18 points at a point guard in the game. It's so easy to get, but at the same time, I just do it in the three-point challenge, but Ty Lawson is not a card you really want. Scored 36 and get 11 rebounds on the Spurs players in the game. You can probably do that with goal Victor Wembanyama, to be honest. Um, but not Ruby Victor Wembanyama. You can very easily do this. This is not a bad challenge at all. 53-pointers with Nets players over multiple games. You can make seven in a TT offline game. 50 divided by seven is about, like, so 50 divided by seven is... Six games? Not six games. Seven games? Seven games plus one. So you can do that in like eight games, which is not too bad. Uh, but 50 fast break points or multiple clutch time offline games. An online? Online! Oh, it's annoying. Now that one is annoying. I'm not saying it's the worst thing in the world, but I will say that's an annoying challenge to do. Um, that's the only word I would describe that is annoying. But yeah, um, I think not the worst thing in the world for challenges. And score 42 points, get 8 assists a game with a player. That's not bad. So this isn't that bad a challenge. Like, you can do most of these. Other than the DeAndre Jordan and this one here. So, like, you're probably going to want to play clutch time online to get these rebounds. And just play with, like... If you have, like, a center small forward with Jack, you're in a good position there. Because you can just get boards with the three of them. But, like, you're, you're getting, like, three or four boards a game. 100 rebounds is a lot longer than you think it takes. It takes a lot longer than you think. Um, oh. It is annoying. It's genuinely annoying, but... It's, it's all right. It's an all right one. Because of how good Penny is, I don't mind it. I prefer it than last week's. Last week's trying to win five games with Mavs players. If you don't have the, the coins for that, like, 
you're going to be in a really bad spot. Whereas this one is at least cheap. You don't need any like crazy players. And if you got the free Derek White, if you got the free Peyton Pritchard, or is it free? Is Peyton Pritchard free? If you got some free cards anyway, you can go and just cook. I don't think Peyton Pritchard. Am I wrong? I'm pretty sure there is a Peyton Pritchard. Either way, um, when it comes to these challenges, so spotlights, they're still not in the game. You're joking me, right? You're joking me. Am I missing something? With these, if I'm missing something and you guys are really angry in the comments, then completely fair. Completely, completely fair. No, there they are. They're in the game. So, the first one is total 18 points and 5 assists with any player or players. So, you can get 18 points and 5 assists. I will do this right now. I will do this right now. Oh, I think I mixed up Peyton Pritchard with TJ McConnell. I will do this right now and show you guys how quick this is. Like, I will have this done before the 8-minute mark. Like, I'm in a rush. I'm in a severe rush. And I will do this challenge to get um, Mike Conley. This is how easy it is. So... And once we skip through, see this like mini cutscene? His mini cutscene might be longer than his actual challenge, and I'm not lying. It might actually be longer than the challenge. So let's go. Get the ball to him. I have not played this game in a week. Kyle Corver, shoot it in his face. That's one, that's one assist, and that is one three-pointer made. Shoot the ball. Shoot the ball, Kyrie. Shoot the ball, Luca. Shoot the ball. You're Luka Doncic. You're programmed to shoot every time you touch the ball. I will say that um, it's actually ridiculous. I, I had a rebound challenge against the Mavs, and the Mavs hit 15 shots in a row on pro difficulty on me. I just missed a quarter. All right. We're taking too long right here. Should be green. Oh, my God. Corver, what's wrong with you? What is wrong with Kyle Korver? That's my fault, completely, by the way. For all you guys in the comment section being like, you suck at this game, I mean, it's my first time picking up this game in a couple of weeks, but... And a couple of weeks, I got Jordan, and I played a game with Jordan. But yeah, let's just wait for him to shoot. Get the ball to TJ McConnell. Give it a pass to halfway line. Korver, run into any spot and shoot, shoot the ball. There we go. That's three. Flop on Kyrie. Shoot the ball. <laughs> Why is Kyrie not programmed? To, in fairness, Kyrie does pop, doesn't shoot the ball that much for Dallas. In fairness to him. I was like, why are so many other players just programmed to shoot every single time? And Kyrie's not. Clearly, the NBA or 2K have got it okay. Luka is the one who's programmed to shoot every time he touches it. And, oh, yeah, sorry, it's in the first half. Kyrie doesn't start shooting until halftime. The first round of the playoffs, Kyrie literally was just, like, not shooting the ball till the second half. Kyrie will not shoot it. Wild. Should be green. There we go. And that's the challenge, though. That is Mike Conley. That took a little bit more than two minutes, but not that much more than two minutes. I'm not joking. We got that one done so quickly, and we got ourselves Mike Connolly. And then we have got the next challenge is score 32, get nine assists and four made three pointers with any players. Do so you see what I did just there? You just do that more. Win the game, make 15 shots, and shoot 100% from the field with any player or players. That's frustrating, but it's easy. That's easy. That is actually easy. Or maybe it's 10 shots. Whatever the amount of shot is, shots is, it's more than 10 and less than 17. Um, it's somewhere in that one. I can't read what number that is, but it's very, very easy. Shooting 100% can be annoying. Maybe throwing lobs to somebody might work. If you have a like dunking guard, because who you're up against the Timberwolves. So if you have a dunking point guard and you put Conley in the pick and roll like if you have got a Clyde Drexler and you're throwing lobs to him that should be really really easy to do and um, win the game total 30 something points four three pointers and something assists with any players or players the win the game is annoying oh the Derek Lively's win the game oh 
Oh, now that's annoying. Four minute quarters. I don't think you have to not miss. I think you just need to do it with one player, but that's annoying. So he's win the game. Win the game. I, again, you're gonna do. You're gonna win this. Oh, wait, what? No, you have to win a 12 minute quarter game for Kyrie Irving. You have to win a 12 minute quarter game. No. No, no. No. Oh my god. You have to win a 12 minute quarter game. There's no way. There's actually no way they did that. You have to win two 12 minute quarter games. Oh no. You have to win two 12 minute quarter games. I, they're about an hour each. They're literally, that's about an hour each, at least an hour each. Oh my God. Like this goes from like an hour and 20 minutes to three hours like that. Oh, come on 2K, you didn't have to do that. So yeah, it is very, very annoying, but at least it's easy. At least it's easy, I guess.